Well, for more than a decade, doubles tennis champions and brothers Bob and Mike Bryan have dominated tennis courts worldwide. They are the most successful doubles team in tennis history, clocking in their 100th doubles title here in New York City when they won the U.S. Open Men's Doubles Championship. And you got to meet them. I did, and I got to t hit a few uh, zingers with the duo here on Wake Up Without Talk. Humidity, wind, a little dirty dancing, and all oh, about boy. how the doubles teams are just like talking and not really playing as much. <laughs> All right, Bob, Mike, we're going to play some tennis here, but are we actually going to play? Or are you guys just going to be whispering the whole time, since that's the the big thing with the we're on the court. Gonna play. You're going to play. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's play a little bit cool. here. Okay, you cool. guys are doubles. How does weather affect doubles? Ooh, ooh, right down the middle. How do doubles? Are you guys affected more by the weather? Like with the sun, are you worried about hitting your partner because you can't see him or the wind? We're actually or anything lucky. Like that? We're right and left-handed, so we don't have to serve in the sun. Um, and then we use the wind to our advantage. Uh, if there's a cross breeze, we'll have Bob serve with the the lefty cross breeze. Um, but it was a hot open. We uh, we were hydrating. <laughs> Luckily, uh, we don't have to play three to five sets in doubles, though. Yeah, so you won in two out. sets. Straight yeah. sets, kept it quick, got off the court, and got in the air conditioning, which was your, nice. Your big 100th win. Um, yeah. And with that, congratulations on that. But I think more importantly was essentially the, the lift that you did, the dirty dancing lift. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. That? Can we reenact that? that? Uh, Can we do a reenactment here? It wasn't planned. We've never done this before. We okay, let's try I, it again. I went for the chest goes. bump. And that's he, what you typically do is and chest bump. And then the adrenaline was pumping my veins, and I just kind of just lifted them up into the sky. And it looked it was a beautiful it's, moment. It's, you guys have a, a, <laughs> another a tournament coming up right shortly? Yep. Yeah, we're going to uh, Chicago today for Davis Cup. Which okay, is so you guys train in Florida. You're used to the heat, but you were still kind of taken out by this stuff up here, and a lot of players Yeah, were. I mean, we're California boys, but um, I'm growing up. I mean, I'm living in Miami now, so mm -hmm. it's really humid in the summer especially. Um, it's great training for, for pros. Uh, a lot of guys live there, yeah. Um, but you know you can't you can't really prepare for this sort of humidity, um, especially the singles guys. They're playing sometimes four-hour matches, right? And they're losing so much water. Um, so yeah, you saw I think 10, 15 guys cramped up, yikes, and actually had to pull out of the tournament. Well, I'm glad no one got injured here on set. Thanks, guys. Hey, yeah. Good match. Yeah. Nice playing. Good play, Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks, and maybe raise that cup up instead yes. of each other, and that'll work better. Let me put some balls in there. <laughs> Round of applause for the champs. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. That's very cool. And what's even cooler was you were really good at uh, volleying with them. I mean, I grew up While playing, you're interviewing. I grew up playing tennis, so I did not know that. So you you did learn a little something there. Huh? different. Because OER is talking about football.